Picturing Electricity Generation, Part 3, Baseload Curtails Renewables. In Parts 1 and 2, we talked about the only generation rule, that generation must always pretty precisely equal the load. We talked about modeling, why you would model, and what this model is telling us. When utilities talk about baseload power plants, they talk about must take power. To keep the system running, you got to have that power running because there is a point where even beyond getting dirtier and less efficient, you turn down a baseload power plant and they will turn off. They're huge, massive machines. They are not meant to run at low percentages. So here's our picture showing baseload coal and nuclear. We're going to keep the black line but remove that big block so we can see what's going on. And let's increase the renewables. Even at 10% renewables, we see that we're intruding into base loads territory. And what happens when you exceed the must-take level, that there's more renewables than the amount of load requires, then the utilities do what's called curtailing. When you curtail something, you turn it off because you need to keep something else running. Got to keep the must-take running. So what's happening is, the utilities are turning off the wind turbines so they can burn coal, turning off the solar so they can burn coal. At 20% renewables, this gets much worse. This gets much harder to deal with. At 30%, we're now at the point where there's really no place for a baseload power plant on this electrical system at just 30% renewables. And in Colorado, there's enough wind and solar potential that within a very few years we could get to 30% renewables. So somewhere around 30% renewables, baseload coal and nuclear make no sense. And just to complete the picture, here's 40% renewables, where even at times the renewable energy generation is exceeding the total load of the system, never mind any baseload power. And here's 50% renewables. From this and other models that we've run, it's very clear to us that we can do up to about 50% renewables with excellent reliability if all of the backup power is from natural gas. If our point three is correct, and we believe that it is, that base load coal and nuclear make no sense above 30% renewables, we have a conflict. In poll after poll in the United States and around the world, people say they want lots and lots and lots of renewables. So here's a key question. Why are so many utilities, so many electric companies, planning and building and remodeling existing coal and nuclear power plants. Why are we building more if they don't work well with renewables? And the answer might be because of the way most investor-owned utilities make money. Their goal is to make a return on investment for their shareholders. That's their required legal requirement. And that's in conflict with the interest of the people that actually write their checks each month to the electric company, where it might be in their best interest to see something different. Thank you very much.